I think I figured out the next vehicle that'll be a part of the Dreams Come True event. This event always happens around the same time as War Thunder's anniversary, and it always features a silly little vehicle. For example, it brought us the Sturm Tiger and the Tog 2. And we know this event is coming because it happens every year, and we got a little sneak peek from the leakers. So we do know that's a Russian tank with all these little blank spaces. So that gives us a place where we can start looking. On the War Thunder forums, I found a vehicle called the BT-7 L11, which does fit the name requirements. But it's basically just a normal BT-5, so there's not much of a reason to have it. The next one that I came across was the A40 T60, which is basically the flying tank. It does fit the name requirements, but I don't see it coming to the game. Now, the tank I do see coming to the game is the KP7 U13. Its development began in the 1930s. It featured 100 millimeter thick armor on the frontal plate, and it also had three cannons. It had two 45 millimeter cannons and one 76 millimeter cannon. But don't expect this thing to be good at all because this thing was just plagued with issues. It had an abysmal reload rate and it was a pain to aim this thing. And officially one unit was tested in 1941, meaning it can come to the game because it was produced. Going back to the Dreams Come True event, it is a stage event just like every other one, and you will most likely need to complete 6 stages getting 35,000 mission points every 2 days. And because it is War Thunder's anniversary, they usually tack on additional decorations that are extremely rare. 